Happy Monday, everybody. It is November 25th. It is Thanksgiving week. And so, all kinds of good stuff, good energy, lots of gratitude, appreciation, lots of people getting together with their families, right? Um, so, this hopefully will help all of us to ground a little bit and, um, and just be in a good space and place, right? Um, it's also my oldest son's 18th birthday tomorrow, which is wild. So, um, and my dad's birthday and my brother's birthday. There's just a lot of, um, birthdays and celebration this week. So I hope everyone's doing great. We're going to start off with Rose Quartz. So perfect, isn't it, for this week? And I have my beautiful angel rose quartz um, that a dear friend in New Hampshire gave to me. I love this angel. Um, you know, rose quartz, it's all about the loving goddess energy, um, unconditional love, joy, and emotional and heart healing. So, you know, this is a week for a lot of people where, you know, there's some mixed emotions. We're getting together with family. Um, or maybe you're not getting together with family. Anyway, uh, there can be some, and then we've got the new moon also. <laughs> well, anyway, so yeah, so just um, number one, give yourself the unconditional love. Use your rose quartz, have some, get some, put it over your heart, um, carry it with you. This is a great stone to carry with you this week to just keep reminding yourself it's really all about love. Everything's fine. It's all about love. And it's a great week to um, to allow yourself to heal a bit from um, whatever gets stirred up for you, right? Okay, our oil of the week, wintergreen, which has, you know, such a special place in my heart. It is from Nepal and um, a couple of years ago, I got to go and, and see them distill the winter green, and I got to meet some of the women who cultivated and and gathered the winter green, and then the men who ran the the, the distill, the distillery, and oh, it's just amazing. Anyway, so winter green, very special oil. It is the oil of surrender. Um, we have Jen came out with her. It is now totally available, this Essential Light Insight deck, thrivology.com, uh, which is right here on the back. I highly recommend them. <clears throat> They're fabulous cards. So here is the picture of Wintergreen, which is just like, whoa. And um, what she says is surrender, let go. And that's what this oil is all about. Let go of control relinquish your concerns and what ifs and abandon your drama yeah renounce your need to be right and hand over your feelings that everything is complicated so i love these words i think it's so true so true um abandon your drama this is a great week to abandon your drama so you can put, this is a little bit of a spicy oil for some people, so um, you might wanna dilute it. Uh, I just put some on my wrist. A great spot is over the heart, right? Right over your heart. Helps us to surrender and helps us to let go of that. I need to be right or I'm right or I'm in control. We're not in control, even if you're having Thanksgiving at your own house. You know you're not in control, forget about it. So, you know, like we don't have to also just do everything ourselves, you know, get help from your friends and your family and, and from the divine, you know, be, um, be aware that the divine is, is absolutely surrounding us and invoke divine grace. What I, you know, what I've been saying now, I'll say like, ohm it out. Just ohm it out, ohm it out. That's always helpful too. So, um, so yeah, so here's our winter green. And on to our next card. So this is from this new gorgeous deck, the A Yogic Path. 
by Sahara Rose um, that I'm loving up. <clears throat> Beautiful deck. And um, this, the card that we pulled is called the Yamas, which again is another part of yoga theory and philosophy. And Yamas, um, what she says here is, your kindness, compassion, and generosity beams to everyone all around you all the time. So you focus on what truly matters and you have let go of excess. So wintergreen is reminding us to surrender excess, surrender drama. And the Yamas is saying, wow, when you do that, your kindness and generosity and compassion is just beaming to everyone around you. And imagine how, if your energy was like that, you know, with everyone that you come into contact with um, during this holiday, you know, to, whether you're traveling in airports, um, you know, strangers, friends, family, um, frenemies, <laughs> you know, family who are not your favorite. But imagine if your kindness and compassion for yourself first and then for everyone else um, was just your foundation for this week. Shit would change, that's for sure. Mostly for you and for me. So I'm grateful for this reading because I'm definitely going to go into, and I have a beautiful week in front, but you know, there could be some stressful moments, right? So, um, so hence our final card, clear and shield your energy. Yeah. So honor your sensitivity and keep your thoughts positive and clear. Use your tools to keep your energy high and clear and protected. So what are our tools? Well, we use, you know, I mean, this week I would definitely grab your crystal rose quartz and stick that in your pocket and keep it. Um, Wintergreen is a great one for surrender. It also is really great for um, getting rid of any kind of discomfort and pain. <laughs> um, I would have your doTERRA oils with you, other crystals, you know, do some yoga in the morning or meditation or both. Um, remind yourself to, to take some time to yourself, even though you're going to be with family. I always map out some time every single morning, no matter what. Um, that's just mine. Sometimes the dogs, you know, will bust in, but they won't be doing that this week because um, they'll be here and I'll be somewhere else but um but yeah so take some time outside also you know getting fresh air changes our perception immediately so just remind yourself to take time for yourself bring your tools with you on all excursions <laughs> and um and we will all wind up having a really elevated inspiring um, and healing Thanksgiving this year. So I am super grateful for all of you. Thanks so much for being here. And, um, hmm. and I'll see you next week in December. It's already going to be December. So cool. So have a beautiful and wonderful holiday. Know that I'm super grateful for you and um, all that you do in the world. And I'll see you next time. Bye.